Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, we will understand Wayne Bridge Oscillator. Wayne Bridge Oscillator generates sinusoidal oscillations at the output. This oscillator is in the range of audio frequency. So, it will produce uh, sinusoidal oscillations and this oscillations will be in the range of audio frequencies. The Wayne bridge oscillator is very much stable in producing the output frequency and it can produce the frequency in the range of 1 megahertz. Now, let us see the circuit of Wayne bridge oscillator. It consists of op amp and RC bridge circuit. The resistor R1 and R2 and capacitor C1 and C2 forms the frequency adjustment elements, which means the series combination of C1 and R1 and parallel combination of C2 and R2 will allow only one frequency component. The resistor R3 and R4 forms the part of the feedback path. The output of the op amp is connected as the bridge input and the output of the bridge circuit is connected as the input to the op amp. To understand the operation of Wayne bridge oscillator, we will rearrange the bridge part of the circuit and we will write one more circuit. So, we have written one more circuit by rearranging the bridge part. Here series combination of R1 and C1 and parallel combination of R2 and C2 will form the RC network, which will act as the feedback part to the op amp circuit, which is connected to the non-inverting terminal of an op amp. So, the thermal noise in the circuit will act as the input to the oscillator. We know that thermal noise consists of multiple frequency components. So, out of that multiple frequency component, the feedback network should select only one frequency component to get the sustained oscillation. So, here if we observe the RC network, so the series combination of resistor R1 and capacitor C1 will act as a high pass filter and parallel combination of resistor R2 and C2 will act as low pass filter. Hence, the combination of high pass filter and low pass filter will not allow low frequency as well as high frequency, but they will allow only one intermediate frequency at the output. For this circuit, beta will be equal to 1 by 3. So, we are not going with the derivation directly. We need to remember beta will be equal to 1 by 3. To satisfy the condition A beta is equal to 1, which is Barkhausen criteria. So, A should be equal to 3. So, if we observe the circuit, so this circuit is similar to non-inverting amplifier. So, gain of a non-inverting amplifier, we can write it as A is equal to 1 plus R 3 divided by R 4. So, we can write 3 is equal to 1 plus R 3 divided by R 4. Rearranging this equation, we will get R 3 divided by R 4 is equal to 2. From this equation, we can write R 3 is equal to 2 times R 4. So, we need to choose resistor R 3 twice that of resistor R 4 to get the sustained oscillation. So, frequency of oscillation of this circuit, we can write it as 1 divided by 2 pi square root of R 1 R 2 C 1 C 2. When we make R 1 is equal to R 2 is equal to R and C 1 is equal to C 2 which is equal to C. At that case, we can write frequency of oscillation as F naught is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi. So, if we substitute R in place of R 1 and R 2, C in place of C 1 and C 2, we will get R C. This is the frequency of oscillation of Wayne bridge oscillator. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.